Hi guys, I'm back again. Um, Poundland Hall forward slash Pound World. I went to my local Poundland yesterday. Um, one in Willenall Town Centre, not far from me. And I only grabbed a couple of things, so I was like, I don't think it's enough for a haul. So, I had an excuse to go to town today, and gosh, am I so happy that I went to town today, because in my poem world, all the Valentine stuff had gone down to 10p, and Halloween stuff had gone down by a lot. I do have the receipts. I spent £42 yesterday and today combined. So... Before we get into it, actually, I just really want to say thank you for the love and support and subscribers I've had on my first video. I really didn't think it would go as well as it did. And the lovely comments that I've had really warm my heart and they've really inspired me to do more videos now. So I think I am going to branch out from Poundland and Pound World, if you don't mind, and like, go on to Primark because about once a month I do a fairly big Primark shop for my daughter and like little bits that we need like the new seasonal clothes that come in and whatever else and then home bargains if I'm up my local town which is Bloxwich well my local town centre which is Bloxwich we have a pound world a home bargains and an Asda so I'll just do the home bargains of pound world, pound land and Primark right so thanks again for the real nice support and comments on my first video you really truly are nice people right so let's get into it there is quite a bit but if i have to refer to the receipts i've got them just there but like i said before if you see me going that way it's because i'm getting the items off the setting if you see me going down this way it's because i'm putting the items down there so let's start off by this really I thought this was a really good offer. This is from Pound World. We'll do Pound World first. Three oh, of the Beecham's lozenges for a pound. Now, I went, I did a bit of looking because I've just done my Asda shop. So I did a bit of looking in Asda. And for 20 lozenges, just these was £3.57. So, there we are. Beecham's Max Strength Sore Throat Blackberry Flavour Lozenges Anesthetic and Antiseptic Inside and sadly enough my husband is just getting a cold come so them should be good for him. Like I said I've got the dogs in the room again so if they bark I'm ever so sorry. I will try and stop them. Next item absolute bargain because before the sale, Valentine's sale, these was £3 and then after the sale they went down to £1.50 which is when I purchased them and now they've gone down to 10p. 10p and I bought 12 sets and I had a saving of £16. This, they're really good. At the minute I'm using them now, I've got them, these red ones wrapped around my wardrobe and I've got the white ones, which is these ones, the white with the love hearts on like you can see and the reds have got the love hearts on let's like say lanterns led i've got them in my bedroom and they give off so much light so that when i turn the bedroom light off and i just want to chill in my room they're just good for some dim light but at tempe i had to get them all i'm sorry once you've popped them up the light there but you do have to pop them up. Two seconds. You have to pop them up yourself and plop <coughs> and plop and place the little insert on the inside. And once you've done that, on the ends of these, like you can see, you put. Oh, 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 oh. Pick it up in a mini. You place a bulb inside, like so. And they are really good. Let's just pack this up. So yeah. Oh, excuse me, cow. They're ten pence a go. I really had to get them. Let's go up a bit closer and show you the actual design. Just paper lanterns. Oh, what's I do? With little love hearts on. 
You could use them in a nursery, in a teenager's bedroom, anywhere, in the garden for the summer. Um, they are really multi-use and like I said, I'm a stickler for a bargain so I'm really glad I went up there today. I do have other stuff in this bag I think. Oh no, just a full bag <laughs> full of lights. Excuse me, Cleo. She thinks there's food in the bag. On to the next Pound World one. These again, I don't drink wine, but as a gift for somebody, £10 for the wine glasses. Now let's refer back on oh, that. That's yesterday's. To how much they were. Um, Halloween, Pink Halloween. Um, and then, um, £2.50 £2.50 before the sale wine glass for a romantic toast but I don't think necessarily and this is my hobby like on my spare time I, glitter, I used to glitter glasses I don't do it so much anymore but B mine and then mine's crossed out and you've got wine <coughs> excuse me for 10p just to gift to somebody or just to have on in your kitchen cabinet on show like if you have glass doors on the front or anything so yeah wash by hand before first use not dishwasher safe i'm assuming that's because of the glitter then the other design, I only got one of each of these because I really didn't want to take all them all off the shelf and just have them for the sake of it because somebody else would have wanted some so I just got one of each and even if the kids just have them to have a play around with like drink their drink like come Christmas or something like that this one says be my valentine and it's a beautiful baby pink stem they really don't look like the cheaply made the look really really nice even the paint sometimes you get the paint where you can see through it and it looks speckly like cheaply made but now it really doesn't look like it <clears throat> i don't think you have to wash this one well yeah you generally wash them before and down because them being in the factory this is just for fun really ring for me little bell nothing special really i just had it because it was the only one on the shelf couldn't help you Look, quite loud actually. <laughs> Bell on the inside and it says ring for me. Oh, it's a fun novelty little thing for my son or something because they're always upstairs shouting me and I can't always hear them. These as well, love bunting, five sets of romantic hanging hearts. This is what they are. Pardon me, they come on a piece of string, oh, I'm not going to take them out actually, they come just like that and they're not attached together, they're attached downwards but so you can put them out anywhere you want and I was 10p again, oh yeah the bell, sorry, refer back to my receipt, it's alright, it's hard because I've got it all, oh yeah the bell, should have been, it was just a pound so I saved 90p still and then <clears throat> this love balloon I do actually have a pink version in this sitting on top of my telly because my TV is on the wall so show your love is in a unique way I don't think you necessarily have to use it for valentines could use it whenever um, love balloon should have been Four pound, so I saved three pound sixty. Four pound, you see, you can't mark, can you? Um, now these before Christmas, and then after before Christmas, these was ten pound, and then after Christmas, they went to five pounds. And I thought, oh, I still can't justify spending the five pound on it. Then I've gone in today, and I happened to see the box on the floor, and I was like, oh. Advent calendar for Christmas, one pound. One pound. This is what you get on the inside a lip gloss, a mascara, eyeshadows, nail varnish, eyeliners, 
Uh, is that a pencil sharpener? Yeah, pencil sharpener. The little eyeshadow brushes. I don't think many people use them. But for one pound, after the sale, I saved £36. I was tempted to buy them all and give them out at Christmas because come Christmas time, my mum buys me, my son and my daughter an advent calendar. She normally gets the three for two one out of boots, like the expensive ones. And this year I had a Zoella one. My daughter had the makeup one. And I think my son had a sweet one. So this year I say, don't get them. And I might actually give my mum one of them. So, real, absolute bargain. So, yeah. It says I saved £36. Yeah, so that works out at £10 each, doesn't it? Really calm, mom. Now, on to the Halloween stuff. Oh, actually, these empty. Husband loves them. Demolish them. So I need to keep the bag so I can show them on the video. So, Caramac Giant Buttons is really into them. Now, on to the... Is it Halloween? Yeah, it's all Halloween. These was all 38p each. Halloween is my personal favourite time of the year. Next to Christmas, I absolutely love to go out. All out Halloween. This year, I've just moved into my house, so I didn't do too much. I still decorated, but I have strobe lights. The glow sticks, I put stuff in every single window. I put cobwebs all over my garden. So this year, I have been. I did buy stuff just after Halloween last year, so I've got it in bags and bags. Ready to... Well, it's in the shed, ready to come out this year. But these... 38p I absolutely love them I'll, I'll even hang these down the fence panels in my garden because this year I'm going to do a um, a gazebo and I'm going to do something that the kids can walk into and I'm going to get like instead of doing the trick or treat treats I'm keep popping into Poundland and I'm going to keep getting little toy things and I'm going to put them in a the tub for when the kids come in so yeah see there was a sale after Christmas there was 50p then uh, after Christmas after Halloween but now the 38p and that's what I can confirm now it is Pound World that are doing that have done the stock rotation on the Christmas stuff and the Halloween stuff the Christmas stuff hasn't come down very much at all so I didn't get any of it because I couldn't really justify paying close to full price for it still oh next was this <laughs> another pumpkin one I absolutely it just looks cute the way his face is all smushed together but yeah 50p there was but 38p spider on a web I did not know this till I've just checked my receipt it's a light up spider I didn't know that and the actual the, t the pulley tab is intact so they will still light up I will give you the prices in a minute of the original price but yeah I didn't know it was a light up one so I'm glad I grabbed another one while I was in there oh that spider web is actually broke doesn't matter I'll glue gun it back down actually just a bit broke there but yeah 38p these will all be going away I didn't actually take my hubby with me this time I took my auntie with me and she loves Poundlands as much as I do trick or treat it's actually wood glitter all on the front oh you dropped here took a chunk how nice though 38p again another one I feel as if when you get one thing you have to get two of it so another one of them just in case like you put one on one wall and you want one on the other now these I've got for my son my daughter and my nephew because they are flying lanterns so and you light up the bottom and then the float up so I'm thinking they can have one of them each on Halloween and let it go rather than sparklers and stuff like that so yeah got three of them oh I did get more Halloween stuff sorry lollipops I love you I generally tend to get three of everything from my son my daughter and my nephew because I have my nephew sometimes then these chubba chub lollies they actually have a message on each and every one of them and they are do you love me find the answer on each lollipop regard Oh, that's a different language. It says, love you, broken heart. Oh, sorry. Love you, broken heart, kiss, 
BFF, no, and a smiley face. So, it will just be for fun. So, yeah, that's... I was going to go back to the receipt. Sorry, guys, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Right. Halloween. Flying lantern. Oh, actually, they've put the lantern through. It's ten pence each, so that's an even bigger saving. I save one ninety-five on each one, so there was two pound five pence. Yeah. Wow, that's really good. Ten pence each. Um, Halloween plaques. They've knocked them down from thirty-eight to twenty-five p as well. So. They was one pound fifty each. Pumpkin wall plaque. They've done them for oh they've done all the Halloween stuff. I should notice this. They've done all the Halloween stuff for twenty five pence each. So yeah. Light up spiders. They was three pound. So that's two seventy five saving on each of them. Yeah. Absolute bargain. Hope you'll be even more pleased. Right, on to my personal favourite, because I don't really go in Pound World. My personal favourite is Poundland. So, let's get straight off on it. I said in my last video, I was trying these to see if they hit or miss. What do you think? This was a box that I bought yesterday. And this was also a box that I bought yesterday. The like... The American Twinkies, but I don't like them. These are so much better. They're not sweet. They're not as sweet as the Twinkies. They're actually really, really nice. So, big, big thumbs up for them. And I've even actually just bought another box today. <laughs> yes. Sun has packed lunches at school, and I normally buy them the Capri Sun or fruit shoots so I thought maybe one of these in his lunchbox and then if he wants one after school I used to love freezing these as a child because the juice would always stay in the bottom so you'd flip it out turn it upside down and you'd suck all the juice off the top top bottom <laughs> yeah so six orange six raspberry a pound for 12 you really can't go wrong there this bag, my husband actually saw this. I could give up shopping, but I'm not a quitter. Ladies, how many of us and gents can relate to this? I had to get it. I should have really used it, but I didn't. I happened to spot these as we got to the till. Obviously, they've been opened. Pound for the mixed cereals. So yeah, I hadn't got any in because I normally do my Asda shop today, which I've done now. So I'll just grab these. So yeah. I saw everybody with these. So I had to get one. Draw it on LED cloud. Because for Christmas, I already bought my son and daughter the ones with the little letters in. So I thought, why not? My son likes light up things in his room. From our bargains last week, I actually bought him a nice screen that lights up. So this... Oh, sugar. I did, you didn't see that. Is a pen and a razor on the top, so he can write his message on and then scribble it off. It takes two AAA batteries, so them are the small, small ones, aren't they? And that's like just another lighter thing for in his room. So yeah, this I saw on another channel as well. You meant to put it on your own. Um, kitchen door and catch the pins in it but I actually saw a woman put it on the inside of a door and she had the dishcloths and stuff in it so I thought oh that should be a good idea but no it doesn't fit on the inside of my kitchen cupboard because my sink's actually right by the cupboard door so I'm gonna have to hang it on the outside and use it for the peelings maybe or once I've done my kitchen we've got like a pantry under the stairs so I'm just going to use that. Oh, this is another thing. Sorry, guys. I did, I did get this from Pound World. Just a little pedal beam for my son's room. 
because he's like he eats bits of sweets and stuff in his room and he leaves the stuff around the desk so it's just a plastic swing bin um it doesn't say how many liters but just a bit of a funny one so that if he knocks it over the stuff all doesn't spill out so yeah teach him to clean his room fingers crossed um i had these the other day in the one style my daughter actually pinched them off me so i went back and got another two pairs but they're both different pairs this one is for volume and this one is for dramatic effect they're quite thick actually actually let me open them oh i can't let's see old. i would have opened them but i will show you on the next video so yeah these are the fur and cotton ones and like i said i didn't really like the scents but another thing I did see in there was the Mario Falcone off the only way is Essex. His hair spray and his deodorants and that. I didn't need them, so I didn't just want to buy them for the sake of it. So maybe next time. Pull cord for my shower because it's actually snapped off the pull cord. Has, so I'll probably pick that up actually. Little sweets for my son's lunchbox, like I said, Harry Bell Roulette. She gets seven for a pound. Like I said, the packs are that big. So it's just a little treat in his lunchbox. These as well. The two tubs. I will open them actually. Sorry, ladies, excuse me. And Jen. I keep saying ladies. I do apologise if I have male watches. I do apologise. I should just say guys. But I feel a bit uncomfortable saying guys. You get two for a pound. I did actually get two. But I'll probably maybe put the other one back. And you get two spoons. So I was thinking maybe flour. Gravy granules or... Uh, pearl barley for stews. Couscous. <laughs> bit of... Anything and everything we could put in there, couldn't we? I'll find something for them. Found this as well, 50 pence. Date night. Valentine's it was. So I thought, oh yeah. So if me and Hobby ever go on a date night, like it says, you write it on a piece of paper. Oh, sorry. You write it on a piece of paper, what you want to do. No, you write on a piece of paper all the date nights you could possibly go out on. You put them back in the jar. So when it's date night time, instead of like him saying, where do you want to go? And me saying, where do you want to go? And it's not like, oh, I don't know. I'll do anything that you want to do. It's already pre-picked for you. So that stops a lot of the arguments back and forth. Hairbrush, because my daughter went back to school on Monday. And was like, mum, I can't find a hairbrush because I only use combs. So I had to go and fetch her an airbrush. A Vanessa Richards Essential Tangle Free Brush. I was actually looking for one of those detangling ones, but I couldn't find one. Then these, I've seen this on another channel as well, a Swish Soap Dispenser Scrubber. I have actually bought another one, a square one, because I didn't realise I've got that. And I couldn't find the uh, replacement pads for it. So I've actually bought a square one. So yeah, just to get like the hard grime off the saucepans, just in case like I've, I've cooked pasta or I've walked away from it. And it's boiled over. This. I do actually have this in um, a drinks version. And the straw goes in the top. But I thought, yeah. Something little and natty. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put some lights in there. Or just fill it up with something like. I'll let you know. Because nowadays you'll end up in the background. Like my last stuff did. The follow your heart sign and stuff like that. That's Ariel, by the way. Just in case you didn't know. She's my absolute fave Disney character. I used to have bright, bright red hair. She's my princess at heart. Unicorn pen, 50 pence again, with all the different colours in. Just easy for my daughter instead of a calorie and a million pence to school. You know what high school's like. That's the item in this bag. These neon plasters because I actually am. Um, cut my finger yesterday so I have done a bit of review on them I put a pink one on and after about half hour or so the um, colour started to come off <laughs> my dog snoring Shh. the colour started to come off so it looked a bit tatty in the end so I had to just take it off so 75 for a pound padded latex free which is really good water resistant but 
they normally tend to slime off, slide off don't they when you get them wet so yeah pyroplast family pack neon plasters they're cool as well for the kids like the little ones if they hurt themselves and you're like oh i've got a bright plaster for you do you want one so yeah there's that on to the last and final bag guys i have actually opened these because i didn't know harry ball did wine gums and i really like wine gums the white ones no, I'm not gonna. The white ones are my partner's favourite, so I had to grab a bag of them. I was in town and I had a phone call off hubby again. Can you get me some magic stars and some caramel buttons again? It's like going through these like nothing but. I'm not gonna mind because actually at the minute these are one ninety nine each in Poundland. Eh, in Poundland, in Asda. Seen them today, so I was like I better grab them for a pound each. Same size as well, and just an extra ninety nine p. Got to buy the tills as well and notice these. Yeah, Heinz. Heinz American style hot dog kit. You get two hot dogs, two sausage, and two bread. And you get a mustard sachet and a tomato sauce sachet. Now, that's all right for a quick meal after school when my son comes in and they're a bit hungry just before dinner. I know you shouldn't, but I do. I've actually got two of them. So the other one's in the bag. I want to show you the other one. Here it is. The dishwasher thing. The dishmatic. Your dish friend. I can, I, you can use them anyway, can't you? can use one for pans. One for plates, maybe. And then I've got the um, green general purpose white non-scratch dishmatic refills. So, yeah. Just shows you what to do. You open the bottom there. Fill it with... Any cleaning product of your choice, I guess. Mine would probably be, oh, actually, I could use this one in the bathroom for on the tiles. That's really good. Could be a bleaching. <gasps> oh, dear. <laughs> so, yeah, and then with the two refills. That's really good, actually. That's going to be my bathroom one. The other one can be my own. Um... Actually, I'm going to go and buy another one. Then Hubby's car with the snow, because we've got snow over here at the minute. I don't know where you are. We're Warsaw, so we've got a bit of snow. It's leaving like white street marks on the back of his car because he has a black car. So I just grabbed him a microfiber cloth so we can just wipe it over as we're getting. Son's phone charger has broke again. <gasps> oh, there you go, ladies. I've actually made a mistake. I've bought a Samsung charger instead of a iPhone charger. Oh dear. See, we do make mistakes. Or in my case, I do. That that means another trip. Matt, from the bottom of my shower, because I'm forever sleeping. You know, when you wash the suds out your hair and you've got your eyes shut. Yeah, this is what you do. non -steep. Ladies, I'm just going to have to have a drink because my mouth's gone really dry. Sorry. These are my all-time favourite cups as well. <clears throat> then I've seen this. I'd only ever seen them on the pages in the clear glass. <gasps> That's what I'm in touch for just. I'm meant to get a hairsay. Sorry, there's a lot of ups moments and wow well moments at the minute. I'm meant to get like the hair bun scrunch thing to put it on the inside because you get the hair bun thing, you put it in there and then you swash your makeup brushes around on it. So... In between changing eyeshadow shades on your eyes, you just clean, gives your brush a little clean. Oh, but I thought in pink, that's going to look lovely in my daughter's room. Pink and white. So yeah, just that's just a little tip, ladies. Not my tip, it's one that I'd heard. You put the hair bar, hair bun thing on the inside. You know the ones that make your hair bun look bigger? Put that in. Then in between changing eyeshadow colours or any sort of powders, just give it a swish. And then it gets a loose powder off. That was actually a tip I got off Faye, the other lady I watch. Then these, Spoon It Out. I think these are the copies to the Cadbury's ones, but I have actually seen a review on them. And the one woman said there wasn't too nice. So I'm just going to give them a try. And if not, I'll know not to get them again. Pound. I have a sweet drawer in the bottom of my fridge, so... I have to get the little sweets where they just come and snap. So yeah, just this is just like drumsticks and love hearts, palmer violets, love palmer violets. Fizzers, drumsticks, said that. So guys, it's been a long day. 
Oh, I have actually found the receipt for that one. Oh, what did that spend there? Oh, sorry guys, it was 50, 52 pound I spent today. Another pack of the Twizzlers again, but just with different flavours in. These have got the banana flavour in and like a cola chew. And then a Mr. Chew Tutti Fruity and then a Snap and Crackle Raspberry flavour. So yeah, then cold weather's coming, like I said. Sheet on the car. It's for the actual windscreen. <coughs> Sorry, lads. For the actual windscreen so it doesn't get iced up of a morning. Because like we're doing school runs and stuff like that. It takes a lot longer and you don't always want to be pouring hot water on your windscreen because with the cold and the warm, we can crack it. There's the other hot dog thing, ladies. Here's the other flurries. I can tell you that these are sealed. I'm not going to open them, but they won't last two minutes. Then another thing for Hubby's car, air freshener, tango cherry. It's very funny what smell he has in his car. And he normally buys the little tin things that smell of the cherry because they smell a long time in his car. But he likes cherry flavour, cherry scent flavour. Then my son's just had a bike for Christmas and we've been keeping it in the house because we didn't want to put it out in the garden because of getting water and stuff on, but it's just taking too much room. <clears throat> it normally sits there for when it because he takes his out to score on it, or it ends up in the kitchen. Then if it's in the kitchen it's in the way because I'm round the cooker and stuff like that. If it's in here, it's in the way because between the two doors. So I've just got him a bike cover. And you can put that over it in the back garden. Protects it from all weathers then. So down to the last few items guys and these smooth chocolate bars 50 pence each 50p did see them on another channel i think it was and this flavor is turkish delight i'd have actually liked turkish delight caramel another caramel because hubby likes caramel and a plain one i'm not sure what they're going to taste like but 50p but they're so heavy 200 grams, listen. Oh, I've just snapped that The so heavy. Yeah, so that was the last four things, guys. I know this was a bit of a longer haul, so I am sorry. I won't do big hauls like this every week. This was just a one off, so I wish I could do them every week. We'd be bankrupt. But yeah, thanks again for the love and support on my video. If you do, or did get to the end of this video just give me a little thumbs up and a comment i really do appreciate it i do reply to all comments as fast as i can because as much as you give me love i want to give the love back to you so yeah i think we're gonna leave it there and hopefully next week will be another one it may be like a home bargain and stuff just to mix it up but i'm not sure should i show you the carnage on the floor now <laughs> oh there's me Oh, you can't actually see it showing now. That's what it looks like on the floor. So that's what I'll be cleaning up in a second. But dogs was really good. Oh, put my finger out of the camera. Both sleeping away on the chair. So yeah, guys, till next time. This is it for now. Like I said, if you don't mind, leave me a like. If you're on YouTube yourself, leave your link and I will watch your video. I really don't mind. I like a good Poundland haul or any haul in general. I was actually thinking about buying a £20 mystery box. So if you'd like that, leave it in the comments and I will actually purchase one. And we'll see what we get. See if it's a hit or a miss. But like I said, guys, bye for now. Thank you for watching. I know it's been a long haul. I wish I said at the start, get yourself a drink and a snack. <laughs> but I didn't. But I'll prepare you next time if you have. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all soon. Bye.